We're also learning new details tonight about the 17-year-old who was shot and killed behind a home in Henderson. The coroner's office identified him as Corey Lino. We're also learning a bit more about the alleged shooter. 8 News Now reporter Joe Moeller spoke to Lino's mother and brings us the very latest from Henderson. Joe? Well, Brian and Kirsten, we spoke to Corey's mother on the phone as she did not want to be interviewed, and she explained she and the rest of the family are saddened and shocked by this incident, and tonight they want justice. Now, we are, this is the alleyway where this all happened behind us here. We are off Sunset Road in Henderson, not too far from the Galleria Mall. Now, I was able to get the arrest report today. It states the two teens were in this alleyway when shots were fired. Now, the report details how Croker told police he thought they were firing at his home, which is behind the wall, so he shot from his home. In Investigators never found any bullet impacts on Edwards' home. As for the victim, friends tell us Lino recently attended Green Valley High School and was a musician. Now, we spoke to one girl who we are not going to show on camera. She says she knows Lino and is saddened by the news. It was shocking because he was a nice person. He felt like a brother to me, and I knew his sister, and I was like, it kind of sad to her because that was like her only brother. Uh, Croker also told investigators he's a veteran who served three tours in Afghanistan and Iraq. He explained his son is in rehab. He feared the shots were coming from a former drug dealer after his family. We spoke to someone who also told us he and his wife owned a local coffee shop in the area. Now, this report also explains Croker is facing murder charges because he was shooting from the safety of his own home and those teens were walking or running away at the time. Now, this report also explained that that gun the teens were using was reported stolen. As for a uh, charge, Charges pending charges for that other juvenile. Those are still pending tonight. Reporting live in Henderson, Joe Moeller, 8 News Now.